Well, Ken, we saw quickly some in-car pictures from Bill Elliott's Thunderbat. As you said so artfully, his wings were clipped. He laid down some special effect sparks down into turn one. I want to show you the other in-car cameras we have uh, for you here tonight in the STP Communication Center. We're on board with Mark Martin and his Valvoline Ford. We had trouble getting our helicopter up in the air because of the weather conditions here today, but we are flying, and that means we can bring you these pictures. So Mark Martin, uh, close to the head of the show. Bobby Hamilton and Richard Petty's STP Pontiac. We're on board with Bobby this afternoon as as well. Jeff Bodine has taken us along for a high-speed ride in his uh, X-Side Ford today. And Jeff is right behind the pace car, so he may have the restart lead as we get ready to go back green here in just a moment. And we're going to also be able to take you on board with Ted Musgrave at the Family Channel Ford out of the Roush Stables. We're looking actually out the back bumper area of Musgrave's car back at uh, Mike Wallace's Judy Donlevy Ford. So those are the car cameras that we have for you and there we take a look at Ted with the visor up hand out the window and just kind of taking things easy at the moment in car number 16 and uh, Ted hoping to get to the front of things here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway when we get back to green Ken Squire 120,000 folks bought every seat there was months in advance to see this 600 hey we can look at that Bill Elliott incident from inside the car from number 94 gentlemen here's how it looked to Bill Elliott Ooh. It does feel just like that, too. Is that right? <laughs> I, I know you've never had that happen no, to you, but... Uh, no, never, never yeah. happened, right? Probably not in that exact location. No, yeah, no, I'll tell you, it's the same thing. <laughs> Somebody threw a beer can out, and I hit one of them there in one of the 600s. Yeah. Come tearing along, I don't believe I ever hit a wall a whole lot harder. Mm. Just run along there, all by yourself, and bam, all yourself in the wall. Mm. And, uh, of course, I don't think that's what happened there. He just, like you said, it shows there. He just run along, and bam, that's it. That's how quick it happened. Let's go to Dick Bergman. Well, Rusty Wallace just had a terrible pit stop, Ken. 25 and a half seconds, the problem. Paul Vanderland's air gun broke. Billy Wilburn right now is working on it. They're trying to get it apart. Even the screws on this thing don't want to come apart so they can try to fix it. Wilburn's going to do the best he can. He's a good sprint car racer. You got to be able to fix anything. <laughs> Well, the captain will, will have new guns down there for the next one, you can be sure. I'm telling you, you know, there's probably new guns this time. You know, you just can't know. I mean, Rusty's had a lot of trouble with lug nuts sticking. I mean, they probably make their own lug nuts to try to make them better. You know? They'll get the best that, that they can, that anybody can buy. In 15th is Rusty Wallace, and you're on board with Mark Martin, who is in fifth. The front of the field, Michael Waltrip, Sterling Marlin, Ricky Rudd, Dale Earnhardt, and Mark. Well, they got the light on for Jeff Bodine here in the Exide Battery, car number seven. They want him on pit road for a stop and go out there, Ernie. Seems, seems like he was speeding on pit road is what they're saying. I guess uh, he's going to have to complain to Tanya about that one. Nice. Uh, 33rd position is where he is right now, and that's where he's been a lot of the year. This has not been a good year for Jeff Bodine, and it's not getting any better here in the 600. Look at this struggle, 30 and 4. By the way, Hensley's Daryl Waltrip, number 17. They're showing it back, back in the lead, in the lead lap. Well, he, he's just leading. He's just that close to being in the lead lap. They pass him back. He's a lap down. He's got him off to a good start then. 30, Michael Waltrip leading. Marlin second. Rudd third. Earnhardt fourth. I tell you, Randy, um, I know you can probably hear us. I wonder if uh, Michael Waltrip only took two tires on this time. be something to check on. Randy, if you get an opportunity, did Michael only take on a couple of tires is the question from Ernie Urban. There's the battle for the lead. Well, Ernie, the answer is this time around, Michael Waltrip took four tires. The time before that, he took just two, so he's on four fresh ones right now. And it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference in speed as to whether he's taken four or two. I'll tell you what, they must have had a great pit stop. I mean, you know, um, that crew's never been the one that normally gets out of pit road first. And, uh, Michael's um, struggled a lot of years, but man, he's really doing it today. Hensley hanging tough in the 17, trying to stay in that lead lap. He's been on the outside now for the last three laps, and he's getting a little help at the moment from Sterling Marlin. Michael Waltrip down to the bottom, slipping back a spot from the lead with Ricky Rudd right there, and you see Bobby Labonte moving into it. comes Marlin down to the inside now. Core pretty good to go from the outside group to the inside group with a car behind you and in front of you. Right. <laughs> that four car's been tough here. Uh, you 
know they, they wrecked the one car and uh, come back with this other one. And that's the same one he had won really good with a Darlington or one Darlington with. So Sterling Marlin's um, going to be tough all day here. What we saw there was his picture of watching us on TV. He was uh, on one of the uh, satellites. Fourth time this year that Sterling Marlin carried those colors up in the lead. Reviewing a little further back, Schrader is six, Mark Martin is seventh, Dale Jarrett eighth, Strickland ninth, Morgan Shepard tenth, Terry Labonte hangs eleventh, Craven is twelfth, then in thirteenth, Robert Presley. So those two rookies that are tied at 106 points each are in there, even Stephen in the race, too. I tell you, here comes um, Schrader. You know, we just, we just uh, passed up him, but Schrader was really coming right now. Riding with Jeff Bodine here, just in front of him, Steve Grissom in the 29. Grissom in the 30th spot. Back up in front. Checking out for the moment is Sterling Marlin. He's drawn away by about 20 car lengths. For like two, two or three laps. Here you see some of the interval there for a moment between Sterling Marlin in the four, Ricky Rudd in the 10. There's that interval come blazing down this main straightaway. Well, this tri-oval shape on this track, you, how many turns do you consider you run around to get around this thing? Oh, um, I, I guess, you know, you could actually get the front straightaway as um, being two turns, and then you got turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, so you got six turns. If it's going to drive the racetrack like it, you drive the racetrack like it's just a big bend from four back down to one, and you just make one, like just about make one corner, one curve uh, turn off of four, and never turn the steering wheel, and you go in an arc and wind up in the right place down in number two. Like, like a D. Right. And that's, that's about the way you do it. It's just a crooked straightaway is what you wind that's up doing. <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> the lights are on at Charlotte Motor Speedway. You'll start seeing the cars uh, have some reflection on them. You know, that's really unique. They start glistening now, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. They're looking faster now. It does. It really looks a lot quicker yeah. when they turn the lights on. But it always did on any short track you went to. You know, you'd see it in the afternoon. Oh, we got trouble going into turn one. Two car. The number two car of Rusty Wallace is slammed into the wall hard in turn one. He's wiped out. He did that right under the condo where uh, Roger Penske's at. I'd almost well, venture that, to say that that had something to do with what he did in that. Uh, that part uh, didn't worry me. It was right in front of that 43. That's the one that, <laughs> <laughs> that always bothers me when they have a deal like it. <laughs> Well, there's Rusty Wallace's car number two dragging itself back to pit road at lap 152 after it struck the first turn wall. Caution of the day after Rusty Wallace socks the wall going into turn number one. How fast do you go in there, Ernie? Oh, you know, probably about 195 miles an hour. Well, here he is. Oh, see? Oh, he got tagged. Yeah. Big time. So that's what I was telling you. The way that car was wrecked, I, I told you on the on the break, I said, something else has happened, you know? Um, it wasn't just that Rusty hit the wall. I don't really know what car it was that we got can see. with him. Oh, okay. Looked like Rusty had to, had to let off the throttle for Craven. the 15. And um, looks like... Uh, Wasn't that Craven's car? No, right it, no, it, no look, it looks like the 33 car. Run Robert into the back Presley. of him. Caught him just right. Presley's 33 car. Let's go to Dick Bergen. What happened? <laughs> Got hit in the rear end coming through a tribal. Uh, car was really running good. Running great, a matter of fact. We had an air gun broke, uh, broke on us in that last pit stop. It got me way in the back. Charged him back through the front, and all of a sudden, no, I'm coming through the tribal. Next thing you know, I'm in the rear. I got hit in the rear end and flying down the straightaway backwards. So that's just racing. Car's torn up badly. It's in the garage. Tough one for Rusty Wallace out of this race it almost it almost looked like rusty had to lift because the 15 car had another problem or something and rusty had slowed down and um you know the the 33 car run into the back all you do is bobble when everybody's running the same speed let's take a moment now and look forward to another winston cup race upcoming this year here on tbs green lap 156 234 miles complete 
Mark Martin has jumped out in front. Morgan Shepard is now second after this pit stop for the Rusty Wallace crash. Ricky Rudd third, Earnhardt fourth on the restart. The 90 car looks like um, he's trying to get a lot back. And, uh, Looks like Morgan Shepard's uh, racing uh, Mark Martin for the lead. I think Mark Martin only put two tires on. Mike Wallace, Holly Myers, car number 90, up in front for the moment. As you ride with Mark Martin and slide back a little here. Ricky Rudd making the move to the inside, taking second. Martin back to third. Earnhardt stays right in there as they continue to switch positions up in front of this restart. Going a little further back in the field. Dale Jarrett, six. Michael Waltrip, seventh. Schrader is eighth. Bobby Labonte, ninth. Terry Labonte in tenth. Lake Speed, eleventh. Craven, twelfth. Mike Wallace, who was leading in the Grand National race yesterday and came to not, but crashed out of that race. The Chad Little one. Well, he's making up a lap right here. Staying in 18th position on the tail end of that lead lap. I don't think he's going to stay ahead of him much longer because um, they're, they're coming. Morgan Shepard now in the lead and Mark Martin. They each took two tires. Ten different leaders so far in the race. The 600 record is 16 different leaders in this event back in 88. You ain't even run halfway, you're saying. You got a long way to go. <laughs> this is a real competitive race. I mean, it's uh, probably the most competitive uh, Winston Cup race we've had. Ricky Rudd getting hung out to dry on the inside. Here goes comes Dale Earnhardt on the outside. And that's, uh, that's his group with Marlin. And here comes Dale Jarrett beginning to move. Yep. 28 car. Yeah, I tell you, you know, this is our, our first chance to see Dale Jarrett uh, up in the front, um, you know, I, I know that they practice really well, and um, they look uh, really good for the race. Still, the number 90 has made up that lap. Stays 18th on the field, just in front of the leader, Morgan Shepard. Earnhardt second, Marlin third, Jarrett to fourth, and Michael Waltrip having a great day back into fifth position. Here's Ricky Rudd up on the outside of him in the number 10 car. And just outside of that group comes Mark Martin, 7th, Raider 8th, Bobby Labonte, 9th. 